how can we leverage all of these wonderful tools that are available and emerging to kind of have a single dashboard to see where we stand. One of the things we think we're starting to, to understand is that people are very interested in the data that's coming off of these devices. Hi, I'm Bruno Ziza, and today I'm meeting with David Wamsley. He is the CEO of Gravity 8. David, thank you very much for your time. Thank you for having me. Now, before we go into what Gravity 8 is, let's talk about you as a serial entrepreneur and, and how you got to this space. Sure. Um, I guess I've been in the space, the internet space now, officially since the mid-90s, so about 16 years um, since I started my first um, company. And it's exciting. I, I, I started Gravity 8 about a year ago, and to see how the industry has matured and uh, from the early days when online advertising was small and we were just trying to figure things out to now we really have a mature and robust industry. Um, it's an exciting time to be back in it. And so as CIOs are watching this show and are always looking for things that's hot here, how did you come to Gravity 8 and why are you working on this project? Sure. Um, as I had mentioned, we, we originally, I originally did the business plan for Gravity 8 back in the late 90s. And mm -hmm. The idea was how can we leverage all of these wonderful tools that are available and emerging to kind of have a single dashboard to see where we stand uh, with ourselves. And at the time, smartphones uh, obviously were not out. We did not have any of the sensors and devices that we have today. But about three years ago, I started to get serious about it again. And we started Gravity 8 a year ago, and now the devices are there. The smartphones are there, the number of users are there, and most importantly, and what we're most excited about, is there are all these wonderful sensors, especially in health, with the advent of the Zio and the Withings Wireless Scale and RunKeeper. We now have real-time data feeds of what's happening to us um, as individuals, and it's an exciting time to hook these devices up. So, so perfect storm situation, technology is there, the culture, the, the idea of quantified itself is on the rise. And so now you built this platform, Gravity 8, Tell us how it works and how I engage with it as an individual. Sure. You know, Gravity 8 is all about hooking up the, the best data feeds, if you will. Mm -hmm. um, the first category that we're focused on, as I mentioned, is health. So, again, if you take the Withings wireless scale and all of the users that they have, which you stand on a scale and your weight is, is wirelessly uploaded to the cloud, uh, RunKeeper, which has, you know, seven or eight million users now, and, and, and again, we can tap into that. The Zio Sleep Machine, which helps us understand our sleep and our deep sleep and, and our restorative uh, nature of our sleep. So all of these devices are available now. What we're doing at Gravity 8 is working with the best of breed and providing a central dashboard so that you can really understand this data and see it in a common user experience. So this is very similar to what you might be experiencing in the enterprise where you have siloed information and you're trying to get some sense and maybe correlate data across multiple data places. Now, as you're going through that, what are you learning about the frequency of the data or maybe the difficulty about getting correlated analysis across multiple data sources? Well, one of the things we think we're starting to, to understand is that people are very interested in the data that's coming off of these devices. However, for all of the obvious time constraints that we're aware of, it doesn't mean you can necessarily go to the full experience of each of those devices. Yeah. If you have you know, 10 or 12 devices in health, ultimately, then you have devices and tools in finance. It's just not practical to go to each one each day. So we're trying to save time by giving the summary level of that data mm -hmm. in a single kind of dashboard. And then when people want to dig deeper and look at the analytics of their sleep, they can go to the Zio sleep site and spend more time. So they can drill in whenever they want to. Now, we all know that BI is not just about the data or maybe even the analytics itself. It's also about the methodology. Tell us a little bit about what's driving you and the methodology you're applying to not just maybe health, but the other categories of my life. Sure. So we're trying to help people. Um, you, you know, the research shows that while 66% of people are thriving in one aspect of their life, less than 7% are thriving in all aspects. So your health, your personal finances, your relationships, your career, your community. We add spirituality, learning, and leisure to that. Um, so, so what Gravity 8's attempting to do by hooking up to these great applications in each area is one, show you how you're doing, show you how you're performing, but also just keep it top of mind 
when you could be doing more for your community and giving back, when you need to take time off and just go have fun versus working uh, over a long weekend. So that's kind of what we're doing at the high levels, the architecture of life, if you will, to keep things in balance. This is a great way of managing and balancing your life. You're creating the, the plumbing, essentially, for me to, to go out and manage it. Dave, this is a great mission. Thank you Thank very you. much for your time. Uh, people can go to this website to find out more. Until next time, I'm Bruno Ziza.